Hi, this is Nikki, and uh, yes, I have joined the whole convert a van into a camper movement, or uh, hashtag van life. So my intention was to be a good YouTuber and have these really nice, pretty, highly produced videos. And I did get some footage when I first started this, but as I moved along, I was more interested in getting the build out done than actually shooting footage. So I'm back to my one take uploads. So before I start closing things up, I'm actually gonna take you for a quick little tour and show, show you what I've done so far. So, stepping up into the van. So you can see I have a, uh, a wall panel on. And before I did that, I actually insulated and I used three different methods. Um, for some of the bigger ribs, I actually shoved some uh, environmental, environmentally friendly fiber fill. It's basically like recycled paper. Um, and then seal them up with uh, aluminum tape. And I've also used Reflectix in various spots for weird spaces and for the wheel wells. So yes, I've hopped on the Reflectix bandwagon also. But what I didn't do is this. I didn't put Reflectix on all my big cavities. What I did was I put one inch thick poly iso insulation board that has the aluminum on both sides. So it reflects out and reflects in also. And then what I did was I basically tacked it in place with aluminum tape that you can see here long enough for me to fill this, the spaces there. You see the yellow spray foam insulation. That's the window and cracks spray foam insulation. So that's basically what I did. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do about these hollow areas yet. I might just cover them up with Reflectix also. But I also did um, the one inch poly iso board between the ribs on the ceiling. Again, they're just tacked in place with the uh, aluminum tape. And when I put furring strips up on the ceiling, that'll hold those in place as well. So this is a finished wall. So I did the uh, all the little particular cutouts and things. The wall is basically this. It's quarter inch underlayment, which is usually used as a, as a top layer of subfloor for flooring. The reason I used it is because it's very thin. It's just thick enough to be a good wall, um, but thin enough to be able to go with the curves and things. So you can see here, I'm gonna show you this from a distance if I can. So it basically is able to go with the curves. I did cut out some of the weird bumps. And then I also did this flooring. I made a big ass template for it. I put a poly iso board one inch thick down on the floor also, and then put half inch plywood on top of that. And then these cute little press and stick wood planks, um, loving it. On the door, again, the one inch thick poly iso board with uh, tacked in place with aluminum tape and then the spray foam insulation around it. And for the top cavity there, I'm probably not gonna put the spray foam. I'm gonna cover it ref with Reflectix and then plywood because basically there's some wiring back in there that I don't wanna seal shut just in case anybody ever needs to get through to it. And you can see some of the wiring through this cavity here also. So that's about it. I just wanted to get something done and uploaded and uh, before I seal it uh, with the walls. Also, one of the other things that I had learned, so Reflectix, again, on those weird spaces in the back there. This cute little black cover, by the way, I'm doing this on a uh, 2018 ProMaster 1500 136 inch wheelbase. And this cute little black back cover is basically a vent area and it's an access panel to the outside rear lights. There was a lot of cold coming in through these vents because of the uh, open nature of it. And basically I didn't seal it shut. I put the Reflectix and some alu aluminum tape, excuse me, on the inside of it. So basically this stuff here is actually taped to this. So it's not permanent and it doesn't seal up the cavity 
and there is still plenty of airflow from areas under the chassis that I've seen that lead into that area also. So yeah, gonna finish this up and then start on some cabinetry. I do hope to get some really nicely produced videos up, um, but that might be a while because I'm on a deadline and I'm trying to get this, you know, at least somewhat livable and travelable in three weeks. So until next time and my next updates, which hopefully might be better videos, I will see you then.